Growing up, I can't remember how many times I heard the phrase, beam me up Scotty while playing Star Trek with my friends during recess at West Bountiful Elementary. It sure seemed like I ended up being him during those pretend adventures so many years ago. Years later, I remember watching an episode of The Simpsons where Scotty made an appearance in a trailer for Star Trek 12, of all things, subtitled, So Very Tired. Scotty was an easy character to mock. Specifically during those later years and those motion picture appearances, he didn't have the same trim physique from the TV series. Of course, Kirk wasn't a skinny feller either anymore. But Captain Kirk was the hero. And there really is a kind of holy trinity of Star Trek in Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. They were the stars of the show, no doubt about it. This was further solidified by the Star Trek comics published by Gold Key in the early 70s, where Kirk and Spock's photos were displayed on the cover, along with an illustration from the main story inside. Yep, there seemed like plenty of good reasons for not wanting to be Scotty when I was a 10-year-old kid. But now I know that I was wrong, and you know what? It was truly an honor to be Scotty during those all-too-short recess breaks that came in between lessons on reading, writing, and arithmetic. Because you see, Lieutenant Scott was as loyal as they come to the crew of the Starship Enterprise. Not just the big guns like Kirk, Spock, and McCoy, but to every single member of the crew. He had to be. He was, after all, wearing a red shirt, which, if you know anything about Star Trek, meant that the possibility that he would be vaporized, devoured, or killed in some other fashion increased exponentially, simply because of the color of his shirt. But did that scare Scotty? Heck no! You see, Scotty or rather the actor who portrayed him, had seen much worse in real life. In fact, he had encountered some truly terrifying moments in the past. Proof of that could be seen if you ever encountered Doohan at a fan event. He made no effort to hide the missing middle finger on his right hand in the same way that he did when playing the character on Star Trek. In fact, he was darn proud of what that missing finger signified. You see, young Jimmy Doohan was a real-life lieutenant in a Canadian infantry unit during World War II. And his unit had been part of that massive surge of troops that stormed Juneau Beach on D-Day. After shooting two snipers, Doohan and his squad found high ground and took a defensive position to await further instructions. Unfortunately, later on that evening, Doohan was hit by friendly fire. Not just in the right hand, which resulted in the amputation of his middle finger, but in six other places as well. Quite frankly, it was a miracle that Dewan survived that evening. After recovering from his injuries, Dewan trained to be a pilot in the Royal Canadian Air Force, where he gained a reputation for being the absolute craziest pilot on the force. It was a label that he relished and took a great deal of pride in. But somewhere along the way, Dewan realized that he didn't want to make a career out of the military. Nope, what he really wanted to do was entertain. So after studying in London a bit, Dewan moved to the US and began to find work in both movies and television. Fans of classic TV will remember him for roles in Bonanza, Gunsmoke, The Twilight Zone, and Bewitched, among many others. But it is the role of Scotty, for which Dewan will forever be remembered. The character of Lieutenant Scott really was an extension of Dewan himself. Honest, authentic, brash, and generous to a fault, when he told Captain Kirk that he was given it all she's got, no one could doubt those words. In the beginning, show creator Gene Roddenberry hadn't intended for Scotty to be a regular on the show, but there was something about Dewan's portrayal that seemed to insist that Scotty be a critical player on the show. As such, Dewan ended up appearing in 66 episodes of the original series. And when the series transitioned to Saturday mornings in animated form in 1973, Dewan was back once again voicing Scotty, as well as a whole host of other characters on the show. I really loved the animated series and did everything that I could to catch each episode on NBC when it aired. I also had my trusty Viewmaster handy so that I could relive the episode yesteryear for which some strange reason got renamed Mr. Spock's Time Trek. I was also a big fan of the Star Trek logbooks that were adapted from the animated series by author Alan Dean Foster. 
Those novels which I would pick up at the little market store owned by Irv Cleverly were my first exposure to Mr. Foster as an author. Later on, he would be commissioned to write the first Star Wars novel after the original movie hit it big. Splinter of the Mind's Eye is still one of my favorite stories, even though it ended up going in directions that would be completely ignored in later Star Wars movies. It is still a great book, and if you're a Star Wars fan as well as a Trek fan, it's well worth the time spent reading it. Alright, enough Star Wars talk. This is supposed to be a video about James Doohan. So after the animated series, Doohan did find himself a bit typecast. People could only see him as Scotty. And when he did find work, it was often within the sci-fi genre, such as his role in the Saturday morning live-action series, Jason of Star Command. Around the same time, Doohan also came to the realization that he could embrace the fact that everyone thought of him as Scotty and make a decent living by attending fan events and making all sorts of live appearances. And he started making even better money when the cast of the original series began making motion pictures. From 1979 to 1991, Doohan appeared in six major movies, along with his fellow crew members from the Starship Enterprise. In 1994, he would also make an appearance in the first movie with the cast from Star Trek The Next Generation. Of all of those appearances, I've got to say that his work in Star Trek IV was my favorite. That scene where he picked up the mouse and started talking to it is still hilarious to this very day. And in 2004, Doohan was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. A litany of health issues were plaguing him at the time, but Doohan was there front and center for that very special day along with family and friends. It truly was a significant moment for James Doohan, who throughout his entire life had found a way to look on the bright side of things. Attended by many members of the original Trick cast, one could say that that moment was truly a celebration of a life, a life well lived. Although Doohan passed away just a year later in 2005, the character of Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott lives on in the web-based series Star Trek Continues. In this wonderful recreation of the original Trek series, Scotty is now played by Doohan's son Chris. How cool is that? If you are a fan of the original Star Trek and haven't caught any of the episodes of Star Trek Continues, uh, you've got some homework to do. It's really good, folks. Trust me on this one. So that's it. One more picture. Let's go with Doohan's appearance as Scotty in a 1992 episode of Star Trek The Next Generation called Relics. Totally required viewing if you're a fan of either version of Star Trek. Anyway, please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be absolutely honored if you'd consider subscribing to my little channel. I talk about music, movies, and television mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.